72 seconds of logos. WWE Studios, because we didn't just want to call it Mirror. Also, we just didn't want to be confused as a prequel to Mirrors. But as many times as I've had this dream, it's never been me before, holding the gun. Now that you've had this one dream, we're ready to let you out into society again. And it tells me that you haven't only overcome your delusion in your conscious mind, but in his subconscious mind as well. Oh, it's gonna be one of those movies, is it? Show us a dream of something that might have happened, have someone talking and in mid-sentence switch to a completely different scene, make the audience wonder where the hell they are for the entire movie? Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Doctor Who is that? 16,000. 16,000 on Skype. Who the f is Skyping an auction? What an asshole. Family moves to a new house in a horror movie cliche. Damn, they got Amy Pond and Starbuck in this thing. They really went all out to try and get an audience to this movie through casting, but not so much the actual scares. Character looks at himself in a mirror and decides to do a thing cliche. Also, I guess this isn't the only mirror that's evil in this movie. Hi. Bye. Okay, great, they found a way to put some foreshadowing in the stream, which means the filmmakers have studied literary devices, and good for them. But did they read anything about cliches? Because this scene is made up of 100% cliches. Also, you could have a drinking game of how many times people get choked in this movie. No! 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 The horror movie score and the violent screaming is supposed to put me on edge, I guess. But much like her fiance, I've been rudely awakened from a peaceful sleep. Because I guess there were some complaints about people printing out their sales reports and finding some really graphic crime scene photos. She printed out crime scene photos at her job over a network. This is a private family matter, right? She's been obsessed with this for years, and would probably have printed them out long ago in the privacy of her own home, right? The scene is completely manufactured to show how this obsession is affecting her relationships and career, right? You must be hungry. This mirror eats people? They should have called this the mirror that eats people, and then changed the entire movie to fit that title. Because this mirror, for the entire movie, doesn't eat one person. It might eat a dog, but that doesn't change the fact that this mirror is hungry is a wasted idea. Also, that said, what the f*** is this you must be hungry line? Was that an idea that was in the original draft and never got cut out when they changed the movie to whatever this is? Also, I take issue with this movie's definition of Oculus anyway. An Oculus is not a mirror. It's an eye, or a circular opening in a dome. This mirror never functions as an eye, or a place where vampires send their outcasts to be burned by the sun. So I call bullshit on this title. I hope this still hurts. Even if I 100% believed in a demon illusion mirror ghost thing and was obsessed with killing it, I would not believe the crack in the physical mirror hurts it. Hi. Bye. I hear if you take the sheet off a potential demon really slow, it loses its power to hurt you. Ah, Socrates! This scene is like a roller coaster, only the car you're in constantly goes up and straight and never down. Ah, George Washington! You're all set. This guy must have tiptoed in or snuck back in like an asshole. Remember when he left a couple minutes ago? Yep, those are average, everyday, normal steps, but they usually signal a person walking toward you and prevent jump scares like this. You all right? Dick. Can you come by the house? Sure. What's your address? No, the house. I guess that's okay with you then? Uh, bye? Door closes before we can figure out the mystery of how the hell they got that huge mirror into a station wagon. Ghost mirror demons offer courtesy massage before killing your family. Only Apple products or a whole Apple store can properly document this paranormal activity. This object is responsible for at least 45 deaths in the four centuries of its recorded existence. Is that all? Also, it seems pretty unlikely that you were able to figure out who owned this mirror over the years and cross-reference it with a bunch of grisly murders, especially since there are gaps in the timeline, and no one except you has made the connection between the mirror and all the dying. I know this is silly to ask, but could you try and call on the hour? It's about seven past. That's not a silly request at all. Woman I'm about to marry who has lots of demons she won't discuss with me. In 1755, Philip Lasser was found at their grand fireplace. Okay, so this goes on for a couple minutes. This is basically your typical horror movie go to the library or internet and research evil scene. Only the main character already did the research and it's a lot longer. Alarm sounds because even the screenwriters knew how long this scene felt on the page. Also, considering Kaylee starts providing even more mirror history after this protein bar break, I can't help but think the script went four or five pages of mirror killings until Karen Gillum said, damn, can we break this up a little more? I need a protein bar break. And then a protein bar break was written into the script. Tobin Cap, 1955. Skip. But there's a huge difference between causation and correlation. Okay, then in 2001, mom and dad bought that new couch. Same year, grandpa had a heart attack, Robbie Schultz got hit by a car, and our cat ran away. First off, there's no way you remember what year your parents bought a damn couch, especially when you were eight years old. Second, while this fits the causation does not imply correlation thing, what are the chances of 45 unusual murders happening around this mirror over four centuries and exchanging numerous hands? Slim? I'm gonna guess slim. The mirror only seems to have power when it's not covered. So why not smash it when it's covered? 
This is a simple issue that goes unnoticed and untried for the whole movie. Also, come on. If someone really wanted to hurt this mirror, there are about a million tricks you could do to destroy it without being directly responsible. So this you can't destroy the mirror because it won't let you shit is nonsense. Only one person I know of was ever documented trying to break the mirror. Oliver Jeffries, 1971. Funny how you skipped over this dude during your prologue a minute ago. Is it because you were saving it just for this occasion? Where the mirror hung in the central lecture hall. Apparently the mirror only affected one dude during the entire time it hung there. According to his students, he stood there quietly for almost a minute before walking out of the hall and into traffic. And made it all the way to a bridge before finally getting hit by a car. The mirror goes right there. Yeah, but you just told us that people tried to destroy the mirror before and some sort of evil persuasion prevented them from doing it. So how would you be able to put the mirror in the path of this anchor without the mirror preventing you from doing even that? Especially now that you just showed the mirror how it works. Also, since this mirror specializes in the art of illusion, even with alarms and failsafes, you're going to start experiencing delusions and won't know what's real. So this can only end badly. Huh, that's weird. This mirror likes to f*** with people before it kills them. It's a strange motivation, but hey, you've got to make the thankless job of killing fun from time to time. Fingernail Horror. Hey guys, come into my office for a second. All right, well, what is this? Okay, I don't get it. He saw one book on the floor a minute ago. Now there are about 15. Is that supposed to be scary? It's a who gives a shit kind of scary. If it's supposed to be the mirror creating conflict between the dad and his kids, it's about the silliest way to do it. I don't know whether the dad unknowingly added more books to the pile, or the mirror did it while he was gone and he just didn't notice, but this is the type of scene where the biggest sin is that no one could possibly give a f about it. Oliver Jeffries, dead plants in the classroom. Tobin Cap, dead plants in the bedroom. What record keeps track of the f***ing dead plants? And I'm gonna need you to stay out of my office. 80% of Rory Cochran's dialogue in this movie is telling the kids to stay out of the office. Alice Cardin's Australian Shepherd. Tobin Cap's Dalmatian, the pets were never found. What did Tobin Cap have for breakfast this morning? Surely there's a document proving the consumption of bacon and eggs with a side of toast. You're wrong. I saw Mom lock him in the office and I sat outside that door all day and nobody went in or out. Have you ever heard of the fuzzy trace theory of human psychology? <sighs> Mom was always home. Are you sure about that? Because I'm not. Tim's rational explanation probably beats Demon Mirror Ghost for believability. But the alternative is that their dad was having an affair at the house while the kids were home? You know this temperature in here has risen by three degrees? Two people in a small space, lights burning, electrical equipment. Tim is right, even though he's wrong. Why didn't the temperature rise based on those factors alone? That should have skewed the results a little bit. Dog has more sense than any human characters in this movie. Jesus, this took forever. It took 24 minutes from the time Kaylee started giving a history of the mirror for something to actually happen during this movie's present day. Ha! In this case, being right is not a good thing. This is the point where you just get the f out. If the mirror can make you position cameras without you knowing it, then it surely can make you do other things without knowing it. And all the alarms and fail safes in the world aren't going to prevent your death. I don't remember doing that. Yeah, I know. It's time to get the hell out of there. You can't even be sure this is happening right now. I'll, I'll talk to you in an hour. 50-50, that was even him. Instead of investigating it further by walking outside, getting as far away from the house as possible, and calling Michael, Kaylee decides to be okay with that possibly not being Michael, even though he's one of her failsafes. The details of how Kaylee wrested her mom's attention from the seductive pull of the mirror are important. Also, burnt toast shows that there's trouble in this family, but also shows there's even more trouble with a simple toaster setting. You don't know when daddy's coming home? I don't know where he is. Let me get this straight. The dad was seduced by a harlot in a mirror, but spent a lot of his time away from the house? Did he know the mirror was evil and gave it a good college try to not be in the house? Or was this part of the mirror's plan to support the cheating narrative? She wasn't in the office. She was on the stairs. But I think she went back in the office. I think she lives there. That's a really odd story with vague details you told me there, son. But no need to ask any more questions, I guess. This is either too obvious or too dumb for a cheating husband to leave around in his office. I'd be scared, but I'm still trying to figure out what's actually happening in this movie. The mirror can create delusions and possess people, and for some reason it takes a really long time f***ing with people before the killing starts. Countdown to choking in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Demon-possessed mother does everything in her power not to catch her kids. Demon-possessed mother does everything in her power not to break down the door. Countdown to choking in 5, 4, 3, Oh, that's not choking. Now that's choking. Leave it to a man to do the job right, I guess. Yeah, I have an emergency with my wife. Look, if the mere sphere of influence reaches this far into the house, then the kid should be possessed too. Unless it has morals about children or something. Also, at this point, the mirror's plan becomes certifiably insane, even for a demon. Basically, the mirror is going to tell Alan to chain his wife in the bedroom and turn her into what amounts to a wild animal. Maybe that's scary. I don't know. What I do know is that demons are brainstorming ideas for screenplays, and they actually use people instead of pen and paper. Tim. Tim. Snap out of it! Movie will now blur the line between past and present, making this more confusing. We're gonna have to stay clear 
of that room. In this movie, it's my absolute top priority as a father to ban you from certain rooms in this house. Next week on Oculus, the bathroom is off limits. You are welcome to hang out in here and play video games. Why aren't you a homicidal maniac? Why is your possessed form to be a weird dick to your kids, but the mom's possessed form is a choke-happy psychopath? What the hell are the rules? Eat. The director said, let's have your characters eat apples. It'll make them look even more like assholes. Tim, snap out of it. Tim! I guess she eventually snapped him out of it with the power of family. The movie doesn't explain. Alan is a dick to his demon-possessed wife. The director said, let's have your character eat a light bulb instead of an apple. It'll make you look like even more of an asshole. And it actually didn't happen. Now we're assholes. Maybe we should stay together. Yeah, and leave the house too. That's another good idea that I came up with just now. Yeah, this shit is freaky right here. This is the kind of thing that the movie could have used more of. Instead, it's a subliminal freaky face. And I have no clue if the kid actually saw this or not, or if the present is colliding with the past, or if it's just for the audience. Huh? Mother is super quiet because of obvious jump scare possibilities. <laughs> Daughter has unhealthy obsession with broken plates on the ground, which leads to this jump scare. If you were startled by this, you have only yourself to blame. You disobeyed me, so now you get grounded. What kind of demon are you? You and your snot lows little brother over there are not to step foot outside of this house. Since you can't go anywhere in the house, either you'll have to take the form of a gas. Also, why didn't you just chain up your kids while you were at it? She's, you know, using her mother's illness to act out. And... Wait till she starts driving. This is nothing. Haha, <laughs> teens. Cries for help are just part of the mystery of their growing minds and bodies. Oh man, Kaylee did this at the worst possible moment. During her dad's daily fingernail removing time. That'll teach you. I mean... I have the power to do far worse, but this mind f is way more fun. This is exhibit A in the compelling you can't win against a mirror that creates delusions case. Also, at this point, everything on the video is going to look like either you or your brother did these things on your own. How is this ever going to prove the mirror is behind this? Yeah, can he see you right now? I'm guessing not, but why put that thought in my head? Fix the lights. The longest seduction ever continues. Only 200 massages to go before he's really not human anymore. I need police and an ambulance. Why don't they ever walk further away from the house? Okay, so maybe they're still inside the house and the mirror is giving them the illusion that they're outside, but it seems like it would help them to try. Especially since they have no idea what's real as long as they're within shouting distance of the house. We'll watch ourselves get... We're gonna have to get really, really brave. Tim throws Kaylee's words back at the main villain of the movie. Oh, wait. Why the f*** would you go back in? Also, this type of shit happened in the past? There didn't seem to be any of this mind-bending alternate reality stuff going on when the mirror possessed their parents. Plate cravings. I'm gonna let you go for some reason. If anyone asks why, good behavior. Kaylee? Is he gone? Movie plays the pronoun game, so I have to ask who the f he means. You mean your dad? The one that's dead? The f are you talking about? Mom can't ever quite run down the kid, can she? And thwarted by a door again. Are you telling me she has all the viciousness of a wild dog, but still has the motherly instinct not to break down doors around the house? The horror. Choking in five, four, oh. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? Why don't the kids get possessed while trying to destroy the mirror? That's what happened to their mom. Kaylee's throat must be shaped like Bart Simpson's by now. The kids can hear this? Or are they imagining themselves as kids now? Or have they been the whole time? I wish I knew. This could have been badass if it had a center of reality we could hold on to. Instead, we're just sitting here guessing the whole time. And anything can happen. And it loses real suspense. Well, Kaylee's dead. But shouldn't the mirror be dead too? That's a heavy-ass anchor there. It should have gone through Kaylee and into the glass. All that strangling made her throat really strong. No, it wasn't my fault! It was the mirror! It was the mirror! Hey man, if they didn't believe you when you were a kid, they're definitely not going to believe you as an adult. You might as well tell them O.J. Simpson did it. Yeah, man, you didn't know that? This country is founded. It was founded by people who were in the aliens, man. George Washington, man, he was in a cult. And the cult was in the aliens, man. And it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Mom! Mom!
Mom! Mom! Mommy! 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 Mama! 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 Ma! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Go, go on without me! It's just go. A good soldier never leaves a man behind! Huh? It's a trick. Get an axe.